We are live from the corn team. And guys, I am super excited to do this uh, Speed Strength Wednesday with you. Um, again, with Speed Strength, we wanna make sure that we're doing a lightweight. Um, so even if we have like two light dumbbells, maybe we only use one light dumbbell just to keep that speed, that velocity up with, with this workout, all right? So um, yeah, if you have dumbbells, fantastic. If you have a light kettlebell, fantastic. Um, if you don't, we can always do body weight or you can use a book. Again, buy a cat, use a cat. Um, I don't know if Heather's dog would allow her to do such things, but we're gonna, we're gonna work out whatever way we can. Speaking of dogs, story of the day is about, this, uh, is about empathy. And it's about this little girl who goes to, uh, who's walking down the street and she sees a, um, a pet store and this, uh, there's a sign outside the pet store and it says, um, uh, puppies for sale. And so she goes in and she's like, uh, she says to the store um, owner, uh, how much are your puppies? And the store owner says anywhere be th between $30 and $50. And the little girl reaches in her pocket and she's like, ah, I have $2.37, may I just look at them? So then the store owner calls out for this dog named Lady. Lady comes over and in tow are five little puppies. Um, the fifth little puppy is lagging behind. Um, the fifth little puppy is, um, is kind of hobbling down the store. And the little girl is immediately drawn to the little puppy that's limping. And, uh, and she says, um, uh, I want to buy that puppy. And the store owner says, I'm not going to sell you that dog because um, that dog uh, is missing a hip socket and it will always limp for the rest of its life. And the little girl's like, no, I want to buy it. And I have $2.37 and that dog is worth every penny of it. And I will come back every month um, and give you 50 cents until that dog is paid off. And uh, the store owner says, um, nope, I'm not going to sell it to you. You'll never be able to run. You'll never be able to play with this dog. It's always going to be limping. And the little girl bends over and she pulls up her uh, pant leg and she has this very, very extreme leg brace. And she says to the store owner, um, well, I can't run very well either, so at least we'll understand each other. Mic drop. Anyway, we're gonna get after it. We're gonna do our mobility flow. Alexa, resume. All right, guys. So. Let's go ahead and we are going to start with our hip circles. So we're going to be in this quadruped position. I'm going to bring knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Let's go ahead and do five circles in that direction. I'm drawing this circle with my knee and I'm keeping that hip down as I do it. I'm feeling this in my glute. I'm not rotating that hip up. All right, I'm keeping it level. Then after I go five times in that direction, I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna go up and back, out to side, to my elbow and down, staying at a right angle. Four and five. All right, now we're gonna do fire hydrants. So lift that leg up and back down. Lift that leg up five times. Again, guys, I'm keeping those hips really, really stable, really level. Four and five. Nice. Let's go to the other leg. Two elbow, out to side, up and back and down. So my leg is staying at this right angle as I'm drawing these big circles with my knee. Four, five. It is shocking how tight my hips are. Ah, so let's go and reverse that direction. Four and five. All right, fire hydrants. Ah, three, four, Five, yay. All right, guys, we're gonna go into our shin boxes. All right, so we're going to have the shin in front of us. We're gonna have our knee touching the bottom of our foot. And then 
Actually, let me go the other way. But, and then we're going to bring our feet flat on the ground and we're going to rotate over. Now I'm keeping my back really straight. If I need to, I'll put my hands behind me just to keep that back straight as I rotate from side to side. If you can do it with your back straight and not touching the ground, fantastic. Doesn't matter either way. You're getting that hip mobility going on. As I'm traveling across the floor. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're gonna do a shin box kick through. So I'm gonna take this back leg and I'm gonna kick it forward. It's gonna line up with my belly button. I'm gonna bring it back in, rotating, both feet are on the ground. I'm now facing the other direction. I'm kicking through, bringing it back in. Again, if you need to support yourself with your arms, that is fine. Kick it through, come back in, rotate, kick it through, come back in, and rotate. Now we're gonna do one more with this. So we're gonna go into our shin box, and then I'm just going to lean over that extended leg. So again, I'm lining up my belly button with that leg, and I'm leaning over. I'm not bending over, all right? I wanna keep a flat back with this. Rotate to the other side. Keep that flat back. Give me one more on each side. All right. Now we're gonna go into our half kneeling hip circles. So one leg is gonna be up. I'm gonna be squeezing this glute. I'm gonna be slightly pushed over this, this lead ankle and I'm gonna reach forward with my arm. So the leg that's down is the arm that reaches. I'm keeping my rib cage down, but I'm reaching out of that shoulder socket. As my arm comes up, I'm rotating my hand towards you now. My arm is coming back behind me and I am keep, I'm continuing to rotate that shoulder and that hand. Now my hand's facing the back wall. Now my hand is facing up, coming back down. Starting again from the back with palm facing up. Now my palm is facing the back wall as it continues to slowly move. Now my palm is facing you as I rotate it back to that back wall. Again, reaching out with that arm, but keeping that rib cage down. I'm not reaching with my rib cage. Coming back down. Let's switch it out to the other side. So again, I have this, I'm over this ankle with this knee and I'm reaching, I'm squeezing this glute, keeping that rib cage down, rotating that shoulder in the socket, as Josh always says, like a rotisserie chicken. Now my palm is facing that back wall. Slowly now my palm is facing up to the ceiling. Palm, hand, arm, shoulder are all moving as one unit. Palm faces you, coming back forward. Palm faces the back wall, coming back down. And we're here. Now guys, we're gonna go into our cat cow. All right, so I'm in the quadruped position. I'm always gonna start with my tailbone first, so I'm gonna bring my tailbone in as I feel this stretch through every vertebrae and I'm really feeling like there's a string in my thoracic spine that's pulling me up to the ceiling as I'm bringing my head down. And now I'm gonna go the other way. So again, starting with my tailbone, feeling that stretch through each vertebrae, looking up, take it back the other way, tucking that pelvis in as you're stretching that thoracic spine. Take it back the other way. Ah, one more. Really reach out of those shoulders. Feel that spine extend up as you tuck your tailbone in. Taking it the other way, bringing that belly button down to the ground. Hips are up, shoulders are up. All right. Now we're gonna go into our pigeon stretch. So I'm in this high plank. I'm bringing my knee in between my hands. I'm gonna come back a little bit bringing my knee in between my hands. 
I'm staying active in this back leg, so I'm up on my toe in the, on the back leg, and I'm gonna bring this hip towards the floor, so, and that's gonna help level out my hips, and I'm also gonna get a nice little stretch in there, and I'm gonna breathe into it, so I'm gonna do a deep abdominal breath, breathing in through my nose, out through my mouth. We're gonna do these deep breaths three times, All right, now I'm gonna switch it out to the other side. So I'm in this high plank. I'm bringing my knee through my hands. I'm keeping that back leg active. I'm up on that back toe. I'm squeezing that glute. And now I'm taking this hip and I'm turning it towards the ground to level out my hips. And I'm breathing in and out. Breathing in, deep belly breaths and out, in, and out. All right guys, now while we're still on the ground, we're gonna do shoulder circles. So I'm gonna bring my shoulders up to my ears, towards the front, I'm gonna pull up out of my shoulders, and then bring them back down to my back pockets. All right, that's the rotation that we're gonna do that way. We're gonna go five times that way. Nice, big shoulder circles. And now I'm gonna reverse it the other way. Four and five. Now I'm gonna do some vertical shoulder glides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up out of my shoulders and then I'm gonna sink down, bringing my shoulder blades together. Reaching up out of my shoulders and then coming down. So I'm in, this I'm in this vertical plane as I'm just coming up and down. Give me that five times. And now I'm gonna go forward. I'm actually gonna bring my shoulder blades back to my back pockets. And now I'm gonna bring my shoulders forward. So now we're in the horizontal plane, going back and forward five times. Squeezing those shoulder blades as you pull them down to the back pocket, bring them up towards your ears. Five. All right. Now, we're gonna go into this kneeling position, this tall kneeling position. I'm gonna have my thumbs pointed up to the ceiling. I'm gonna keep my arms super active, and I'm gonna do neck circles. So I have a pretty gentle neck that I need to be, I need to be really gentle with. And I'm going to pretend like I'm drawing circles with the top of my head. So I'm gonna bring my head forward to the side, to the back, to the other side. I'm gonna go in that direction about five times. So I'm trying not to get a whole bunch of cracking and smushing with this. So I'm not going very extreme with that movement. And now I'm gonna take it the other way. Four and five. All right. Next, guys, we are going to go into our deep squat with hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna widen out my feet. I'm gonna come down into as deep of a squat as I can get into. I'm gonna rotate out, I'm gonna rotate out, and then I'm gonna straighten my legs, and I'm gonna to try to get this really nice stretch in my hamstrings. I'm gonna hold it there for a second. I'm gonna come back down, I'm gonna reach out, I'm gonna reach out, and then I'm lengthening those legs. Coming back down, let's do two more. Rotating, following that hand with your eyes. Seeing here in this hamstring stretch, if you can get a little bit deeper each time, just let that, that upper torso hang. All right, one more. Rotating, rotating. Ah ha ha, yeah. All right, so 
I failed you guys last week because we didn't do any seven-way hips last week. Guess what we're doing right now? What? Seven-way hips, yay! Seven-way hip party. All right, so we're gonna lay on the ground. We're gonna support our heads. We are going to make sure that our feet, our knees, our hips, and our shoulders are all in alignment. We're gonna put our hand in front of us so that we don't fall forward. And we're gonna lift that leg about 12 to 18 inches. And we're gonna do 10 leg lifts, just up and down. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we're gonna keep that distance and we're gonna go from the center to forward, center to forward. Now, this is not an extreme motion. I'm not coming like all the way out with it, okay? Hitting it at about a 45 degree angle in front of me. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I'm gonna go center to back. Again, keeping that distance between my feet, like pretending like there's a kickball in between my feet. Just going about a 45 degree angle behind me. Eight, nine, 10. Now I'm gonna go fully forward to back. Keeping that distance. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah. All right, now we're going to do ten small circles forward. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to do ten circles back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, woo, and then big bicycles for the finale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo, yeah, all right. Switching it out to the other side. Oh, we got to give a lot of love to each side, guys. Sorry, my mic's in the way. All right, so again, we're lining up our feet with our knees, with our hips, with our shoulders, putting that hand in front of us, and we're lifting that leg 10 times. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Center to forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Center to back. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way forward to back, still maintaining that 45 degree angle in front of you and behind you, maintaining that distance between your feet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then 10, small circles forward, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 10 small circles back. I don't know, maybe you should be feeling some heat right now, huh? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, woo! And then let's do those bicycles. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yeah! Love those seven way hips, guys. Woo, that's some good medicine. All right, let's just stand up for a second. Let's do some big arm circles forward that we've been doing all this, giving all this love to our hips. Let's give a little bit more love to our shoulders. Taking it slow. We want really nice, big movements with this. All right, let's take it the other way. Ha. Seven, eight, nice, nine, ten. All right, guys, let's go in this horizontal plane. Whew. Squeezing those shoulder blades at the back. All right, now we're going to go up and down in our vertical plane. Get that nice swing, get that nice range of motion. Yeah. Awesome. All right. If you do not have water, I want you to grab some water. If you have water, I would suggest drinking it. Cheers. So what we have today is a dumbbell decathlon. We are going to be doing 10 exercises for 10 reps. We do four sets. We are going to do a warm-up set. So we're going to do each of these exercises for our warm-up so we can get a feel if you have a varied amount of weights or if you want to try with one weight as opposed to two weights. But for the warm-up, we'll just go at a regular pace, but when we're actually in the circuit itself, we're going to be going at a much faster pace, all right? So for my squats, I'm going to go ahead and grab one dumbbell and hold it in this goblet position. Widening out those feet. I'm trying to get my elbows on the insides of my knees and back up. So squeeze it at the top. So go ahead and give me 10 of those, really squeezing those hips forward. Now again, when we're actually in the circuit, we're going to be going as fast as we can. Boom, boom. But for right now, I just want you to warm this squat position up. Six, seven, eight, nine and ten then which is going to be awesome we're going to go into a squat to squat hold to overhead press so we're going to go into our dynamic squat i'm not going to lose it i'm not going to sit into it i'm going to keep active in my legs and then i'm going to raise and lower my dumbbell now i'm just going to use one for this and we're going to do ten of these six seven eight nine ten Ha ha, it behooves you to go fast with that one because that is hard to hold. All right, now I have my curls. So if you wanna do just regular curls, we're gonna narrow up our feet. We're coming up and fully down. All right, guys, so don't give me three quarters with this. I want you to give me full extension with those arms. Now my left elbow has been bothering me. So I'm gonna do hammer curls. It's a little bit easier on my elbow. That is always an option. You can do these curls either way. Six. And we are not rocking with it, all right? If you're rocking, you have too much weight, all right? And we want to go fast with this in the circuit. All right. Next, we have our RDLs. We're maintaining that narrow foot position. We're coming over. I'm bringing that butt to that back wall and I'm playing with the bend in my knees because I want to feel this in my hamstring, all right? Keeping that back flat and then coming up, bringing those hips forward at the top. Getting those hands below the knees, bringing it forward at the top. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Making sure you get that hinge. Don't lose those shoulders. Don't come out of those lats. Keep pretending like you have a towel stuck in your armpits eight, nine, ten. All right. 
Now I have my tricep overhead press. In order to do this fast, I'm gonna only use one. I'm going to hold this in this nested position in my hands, bringing my elbows in tight to my head, extending my arms up, getting this nice stretch at the bottom. All right, give me 10 of those. All right, so then I have my reverse lunge. Now you can choose to use two dumbbells in either hand, or you can hold it like this, or you can use no weight. That is fine, especially if you're trying to get speed. So I'm gonna step back, come back up, switch it out. All right, so I'm getting this 90-90 going on with my legs as I come down into my lunge. All that weight is coming into that front leg as I'm reaching that other leg back. Doing 10 on each side. Great job, guys. Got a nice little warrior party happening this morning. All right. Now we have our rows. So I will grab both of my weights for this one. Same thing, guys. I'm going to go into that hinge position, bringing that butt back, pulling my weights up to my hips and back down, staying in those lats. Don't curve that back, keeping that head in a neutral position. Squeeze those shoulder blades at the top. Nine, 10. Now for my front raise, I'm gonna go back down to one because I wanna be able to do this fast during the circuit. Bringing my dumbbell up to shoulder height and then back down. Arms extended out straight. Arms stay straight the whole time. Full extension at the bottom, squeezing those glutes. Don't forget the importance of the glutes. Ten. All right. Then we have our pullovers. So we're going to lay down on the ground. I'm going to get my legs at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to push my lower back into the ground. I'm going to extend my arms over my head and then I'm going to come over my chest. So arms over my head and then over my chest, trying to keep those arms straight. Really push that lower back into the ground, guys. Don't let that back arch. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. Next, guys, we have our alt leg V ups. Arms and legs are straight getting those shoulder blades off the ground, trying to get that leg directly above you, above your hip as you come up, trying to touch up as high as you can, but at least get those shoulder blades off the ground, doing 10 on each side. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. I think, ha ha. All right, so those are the 10 exercises in our decathlon, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this as fast as we can, maintaining that really, really good form as we do this. You'll be going at your pace, I'll be going at my pace, um, especially for our 7 a.m. warriors, if you ever have difficulty following along, go to the warrior vault before the uh, workout and pull up today's workout so you can see the list of all the exercises that we're doing. And you'll have that conveniently next to you or on your computer or whatever. And um, it's easier to follow along that way. So um, for everybody else who's working out, you can see it below in the YouTube description what the workout is. Also going to the warrior vault and checking it out beforehand. 
All right, so let's grab some water. All right. Okay, guys, we're doing four sets of these, 10 reps each, starting with my squat. Woo! All right, here we go. And we're going fast with it. One, two, if you aren't able to do this fast with your dumbbell, get rid of it. Just do body weight. It's okay. Eight, nine, 10, going right into my squat, hold to overhead press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice, all right. Now we have my curls. Again, guys, I'm doing hammer curls. You can do regular curls. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, RDLs, bringing that butt to that back wall, really squeezing those glutes at the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, tricep overhead press. Bringing that weight up, keeping those elbows in tight, guys. Don't bring those elbows out to the side. That's gonna be easier, but we want you to really isolate your triceps with this. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going into my reverse lunges. One, two. Keeping that back upright. Don't lean forward in it. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Woo! Reverse lunges add up. Ten. All right. Now I have my rows. Grabbing both my weights. Coming over. Again, guys, you can do this with the lighter kettlebell if you don't have two dumbbells. Four, bringing those weights back to those hips. Really squeezing those shoulder blades. And I have my front raise. Coming up and down. Five, six, seven. Don't forget about speed. Eight, nine, 10. Coming into my pullover. Getting on the ground. Legs at a 90 degrees. Pushing that lower back into the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Putting that weight down. Going into my alt leg V ups. One, two, getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whew, nine, and ten. Yeah. All right, guys. We're going to rest for at least 45 seconds, all right? And then we're going to go back into it, hitting our second set, all right? So about 45 seconds of rest. See how you're feeling. See if for the next circuit, in order to hit that speed, maybe you want to drop the, drop the weights completely. That's OK. This is totally legit as body weight exercises, all right? I'm gonna grab some water. Now, if you need more rest than 45 seconds, that's okay. If you're watching this video later, pause it, give yourself 
a minute, minute and a half, whatever you need. All right, if you're at home, you can also take that little bit of extra rest. Actually, we just hit about a minute of rest. So we're gonna go back into it. Grabbing my dumbbells, starting with my squats. Here we go. Fast guys, two, three, get depth. Depth before dishonor. Don't go shallow with this just because you're trying to go fast, all right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I have my squat hold to overhead press. Boom, stay active in that squat. Go fast with that press overhead. Six, seven, nice, Steve. Nine, ten. Full extension with those arms. All right. Then we have our curls. Here we go. No rocking that body. Keeping those glutes on. Keeping that pillar of your body super solid. Seven, eight, nine, ten. RDLs. Hips forward at the top. Really get that nice hinge. Pull that butt to the back wall. Eight, nine, ten. Tricep, overhead press. Elbows in, arms straight at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse lunges. Yeah. Trying to get that back knee about an inch off the ground. Seven, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten, ten. Then I'm going into my rows. All right, get that really good hinge position again. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm dropping one of my weights, going into my front raise. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Pull over. Get that back on the ground. You got this. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Getting rid of my weight. Going into my alt leg V ups. Shoulder blades off the ground. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ah, ten. Nice. Rest. Woo, for at least 45 seconds to a minute. All right. Guys, we've been, uh, Right after the last challenge ended, we started a new challenge called the 10 Penny Challenge. Just in case you haven't seen Josh's video on the 10 Penny Challenge, it was on Facebook. Sometimes Facebook stuff gets lost. We will text out that video today so you can check it out. I want to keep the momentum of the challenges and these behaviors and these habits that we are really, really working on, honing, especially now when life is still really turned upside down. The cool thing about the 10 penny challenge is you have so many more categories in which to 
score your points as it were. And uh, we'll make sure that you see that in the description on the YouTube video. But we are through our one minute of rest and we're going back into it. All right, guys. So go ahead and start with your squats. I wanna see what you're doing. Give me 10 squats. There you go, nice step, Brenda. Great job, Heather. Awesome, Steve. There you go, there you go, there you go. Just keep that weight in tight to your chest, Steve. There you go, there you go, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, then you're going into your squat hold to overhead press. So, making sure to keep that, that depth without sitting into it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Then we have our curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, my RDLs. Boom. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Tricep overhead press. Woo! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse lunges, stepping back. A lot of times people find reverse lunges to be a lot easier on their knees. Gonna check you guys out. Here we go. Yep, trying to get that knee about an inch off the ground. Good job, Brenda, doing them all on one side first and then the other. That is definitely the harder way to do it. Great job going that extra mile with it. Awesome, guys. After we're done with our reverse lunges, we're gonna go into our rows. All right, bent over. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we have our front raises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now we have our pullovers. Pullovers. Keeping that lower back into the ground. Arms are extended overhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, everybody's favorite a thousand alt leg V ups. Two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, woo, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, woo, ten. Ah, oh boy. Those old leg V-ups, man. They're a joy, right? Woo! Yeah. All right, guys, let's get some water. I'm almost out of water. I'm gonna go grab some while we rest. Okay, guys, hopefully you're feeling awesome. And we're gonna get after this. This is gonna be our last set, and it is going to be our best set. So, we got about 10 seconds more of rest. 
Then we're going into our squats. As fast as you can, Just keeping that form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, 10, nice, all right. No, yeah, now I go into my squat to overhead press. Wishful thinking that this was over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Yep, you only wanna do that one fast. Then we have our curls. Whoo. Again, guys, I'm doing hammer curls because my elbow's bothering me, but you can go ahead and do regular curls. Three, four, five. Hammer curls just means neutral grip. That means my hands are facing in. Eight, nine, 10. RDLs, boom. Really explosively squeeze those glutes at the top. Getting that full hinge though. Don't cheat your hinge. Feel your hamstrings activate as you hinge over. Nine and 10. Then I have my tricep overhead press. Again, my feet are on the narrow side, making sure I get full extension. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Going into my reverse lunges. I'm gonna do what Brenda was doing. I'm gonna do all ten on one side and all ten on the other. This is the harder way of doing it. It is fine. Eight, nine, ten. Woo! Three, four, lock those legs up at the top. Eight, nine, ten. From here, I'm going into my rows. All right, hinge. Pull those weights to those hips as you squeeze those shoulder blades. Six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, woo, front raises. One, two, three, keep that pillar strong. Keep those glutes on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, woo. Coming into my pullover. Home stretch guys, home stretch. One, lower back on the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! All leg V ups. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, ah, ten. Woo! Ha! Ah. All leg V ups are hard on a good day, let alone doing them fast. Wow! <laughs> All right. Let's get some water. Then we're going to go into our homework. All right, guys. Woo! Yeah, let's take just a couple seconds, getting a good breath in. Guys, ha! Ah. I love the variety of styles and types of exercises that we do in here. Going for metabolic on Mondays, Tuesday's strength day, Wednesday's combination of strength and speed. Thursday strength, Friday metabolic, Saturday anything goes. Really helps me stay mentally active with all the different variations of exercises. And guys, this is the end of this month. We're heading into June. 
So we'll have new homework. We'll have our new strength workouts that we'll be doing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then our just variety of other different types of metabolic exercises that we do Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. All right. But due to Sarah's popular de demand of Tabatas on Saturdays, I'd like to keep that because I love those. Anyway, guys, we are going to go into our Cossack lunge. So I'm going to take a really, really wide step. I'm going to point this toe to the ceiling. I'm going to try to get my hamstring as close to my calf as possible. Come back up, come really far over, try to get down as low as you can and back up. Make sure you're turning that toe up to the ceiling. We're doing 10 times on each side. All right, now we have the ever popular four point hip mobility coming into our quadruped position, elevating those knees off the ground just a tiny bit, and then swinging that knee out so you can tap that foot, trying to keep those hips stable. Four, five, six. Take it slow and controlled. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. All right, guys, now we have our archer planks, which I adore. I'm gonna have, I'm be in this high plank. My feet are gonna be wide for stability. I'm keeping this hand right underneath this shoulder as I reach up, following that hand with the eye. Dragging that hand across my chest and back down. Dragging it across my chest and back down. Getting that little extra mobility in that arm. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Lovely job, warriors. You guys killed it. That was a wonderful, wonderful dumbbell decathlon involving speed. Story of the day was involving empathy. I think we can all use a lot of empathy right now. We could all give a lot of empathy right now. Um, it's funny because I was thinking the other day about this uh, post that Diane Huber had put on the Facebooks. And it was like, it's like if you see somebody wearing a mask, be nice to them. If you see somebody not wearing a mask, be nice to them. If you see somebody taking a wide berth, around you. Be nice to them. If you see somebody walking close to you, be nice to them. And it's just that reminder that we all have different attitudes and thoughts towards this time right now and how many of us don't want to get sick and how many of us want the economy to recover. And there's just so many different ways of thinking and dealing with this that we just have to remember to be nice to each other. And uh, I think that involves a lot of empathy and compassion. So anyway, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. And we love you and miss you.
Josh and I were just talking about how his uh, social media burns to me just don't work when he uh, uses autocorrect. And I am recording. And Josh is making a lot of noise. Because that's what Josh does. He makes a lot of noise. <laughs> Dear God. All right.